Hello everybody, it's me, Ghost Critic. I'm back again. Another day, another video. Why today? Um, well, lately I've been getting a lot of messages, a lot of comments on uh, my videos asking me um, for recommendations regarding the whole New 52. And I think to myself, my God, why me? Um, I mean, I'm flattered and that you're asking me um, for my opinion, uh, what I think you should be picking up. Um, and I can only really say, um, I mean, my the way I pick them is, is purely, my, my needs are very basic. Um, I just need to be entertained and I need something nice and pretty to look at. Um, saying that, you know, you've got the whole new 52, none of us really knew what we were going to get, so we had to take some chances on some titles, sometimes we were disappointed, sometimes, you know, it was just amazing, um, and there are much better people out there that, that could give you advice, seriously. Um, go check out Agent 42Q's channel. Um, he got every single number one of the 52 range and he did four weeks of just fantastic reviewing uh, of all the 52s. Go check out his channel, go check out his last four videos. He has the lowdown on every single one of them. Myself, I only managed to pick up uh, three, four, five, six, seven, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 of the 52. Um, a few of them I wasn't actually going to get, um, but due to recommendations um, to me, I decided to go and pick them up. So what I just thought I'd quickly do, this is only going to be a short video, um, I'll go through the 13 that I bought, um, and I am going to rate them in ascending order um, on what I thought was good and what I thought was bad. So here we go. We're starting off with what I thought was of what I bought <coughs> clearly at the bottom of the heap. Fortunately Legion lost. It was just a car crash. With all these titles I'm going to give the first arc a go before I decide culling books. But, you know, Legion Lost did not get off to a good start at all. I would not suggest if you are short on cash and really want a comic um, that's really going to entertain, I would not recommend this at all. It was a mess. Next, Superboy. I wasn't as thrilled with this as I hoped. It wasn't one I was going to pick up, but then everyone started saying it was actually quite good. But I didn't think so. It was a bit lacklustre. The, the kind of twist in the middle of it really wasn't that great. Um, and was pretty obvious, at least to me. Just came out um, last week, Batman The Dark Knight. In a slew of Batman and Bat-related books, you really have to shine. This did not shine. It had moments of looking kind of pretty, but the story was flat, unoriginal and disappointing. <laughs> Another Batman book, Batman and Robin. Um, I... I only just started liking the character of Damien, um, but still had my reservations about him. They've made him an obnoxious little git yet again, um, with no redeeming qualities. He's kind of a one-joke character now. He's going to be the the one that's going to be a real arse all the time. So, wasn't really impressed. First Batman book to come out, a flagship title for DC, um, Batman Detective Comics. Really, really hoped that this was going to be good. It didn't really come up to to, stand, to the standard I was hoping it would be, given it is, you know, it's DC's flagship title along with, say, Action Comics. 
Um, it was it was macabre. It was violent. It was kind of obvious. Um, I think it'll get better. I'm willing to give it a try. That was Batman Detective Comics. As we ascend further up to the good stuff, here we have OMAC number one. This is one I wasn't going to pick up, um, but some guys recommended this to me and said it was really good. Yeah, it was. It was entertaining. Um, harken back to the kind of Kirby um, artwork. Um, it was surprising to see this was Dan Didio writing this, um, taking his hand in, in there. Um, I'm certainly hopeful that this will um, be a keeper because it's kind of a, a nice kind of adventure sci-fi type tale. So I think it's worth a pick up. Swamp Thing. Um, kind of the tiles hurt by the fact that, you know, we can't get away from the fantastic run that Alan Moore did. Um, so it's difficult to not be um, biased towards older comics. I think, obviously, with Scott Snyder writing this, I think he will send us places we were not expecting. I'm willing to ride this out. I know it's going to get better and it will go further up my, um, my pull list for wanting to read straight away. Justice League number one. Um, the very first title that came out of the 52. Fun enough. Jeff Johns wrote a nice solid story. The artwork by Jim Lee, you cannot fault. It's beautiful. Um, definitely should have been a pickup for anybody getting the new DC 52. Green Lantern. I love this purely because the fact it didn't give a damn that this 52 reboot had happened. This just was like, hey, I'm Jeff Johns. I've just created this whole big mythos and new kind of direction for the Green Lanterns. I'm sticking with it. Sod this new 52 reboot. It's still a great, great read. Again, Jeff Johns is laying some nice groundwork, but I don't really consider this to be part of the new 52. Fun as it was. Batwoman number one, and how long did we have to wait for this, given that issue zero came out months ago, even before we even knew about the new 52. But it was worth the wait, even if only for the beautiful artwork, the imaginative panelling that this title gave us. Um, it's creepy, it's got that supernatural vibe to it, and it is just one dynamic piece of work. Finally, a Batman title that did the job. Yes, and guess who it was? It was Scott Snyder. Batman, this is the comic that should have come out in the first week of the whole new batch after the, J after the Justice League. Um, if you don't know Batman, this comic set you up with all the information you needed to know. It set up all the Bat characters, the supporting cast. It looked beautiful. Scott Capello, um, Capello fantastic art. Definitely the Batman book you should be picking up. Narrowly missing out on the top spot, but still one of my favourites from the 52, and that was last week's Justice League Dark. It's got all a lot of my favourite characters in there, and it's just a fun, supernatural, spooky, occult, magical tour de force. Pick it up. So what was my favourite of the ones I collected? It was indeed Jeff Lemire's Animal Man. Um, dark, again the whole supernatural kind of vibe to it with, with the dark dreams and, and the three coming in. Um, the artwork may not be to everyone's taste but it suits Animal Man down to the ground. I cannot wait to pick up my comics this week and get uh, dive right into Animal One. If there was one comic that you missed out on getting, I would totally recommend this title. 
There were a couple of books that I missed that I wish I'd got. Um, everyone kept telling me that Demon Knights was really good. Um, the, my comic book guy is desperately trying to get me a copy of it. I don't even care if it's a second print in. That doesn't bother me at all. Um, so I'm hoping he can get me a copy of that. I've heard really great things about Teen Titans and everyone that I, everywhere I read when that first came out and they looked at the cover, they absolutely slaughtered it, which just shows, you know, knee-jerk reaction um, from the comic book community. But I've heard nothing but, you know, pretty damn good stuff about it. So I'm going to see if I might, if I can afford it, pick up another title there and see how it goes. So that's it. I hope that helped you out. Again, try Agent 42 Q's channel and also um, Jason P. Wilson 01 X Force. He did a great run. He got a lot more copy comics than me and a lot of different ones than I got as well. So his channel's worth a check out as well if you want more advice and more recommendations. Um, don't just take my word for it. Go and check out other people's on YouTube. There's a slew of guys out there that are doing a great job reviewing these new 52s. And you know what? Just go in a comic book shop, pick one up, just browse through it. See what catches your eye. Go for characters that are familiar for you if you don't want to take that big a risk. That's me. Until the next video. Bye guys.